Sasali. Kufa kwe mbali. Zeto nyingine. Ano, ataka lika tapulangu chana dadi ukulipe ni ninga. Ninga niya msheno tana tanga. Hi everyone. Welcome to over my channel. Yes, girl. I wanna be the very best that no one ever was. They catch them, it's my real test They train them, is my cause I will travel across the land Good morning guys, I'm trying to look as awake as possible It's past 7 and we had to wake up early We had to wake up early to Combine to chop spinach. <laughs> Direct translation because they are going to. Oh. Yes, I, I just woke up and it's hectic. I'm trying to find the right words. So they're going to. They're going to plow with a tractor. So they will plow the, the spinach away. So now we had to to cut as much, to collect as much spinach as possible. We use spinach as sauce here this side of the village. And I know that to me a pay. Kokandungu. Kuno meva. Eh. I got to delay. Oh, guys, turns out we have a well in in our a cover in our field. Anyways, we are going to collect spinach now, and I'm going to show you the process. The kids are getting water from the well that's in our house. It's oh, it's a velo Natalia and Cotillo Natalia and Gobanu Natalia. Natalia, I'm going to my pendula to my pendula. My mom is asking my cousins and my sister are sleeping. But you're talking about the way I'm going to go to the pendula. Oh, there she goes with that speech. Somebody is a boy, but in a man, you like that. God cannot. Hey, see, Natalia, tell me, I'm going to talk about it. Go, 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 go. Everyone is working. Okay, basically, this is the process. You just, not the whole stem, you try to not take the whole stem off. Yeah, I feel our. Now, the thing is, um, if you like, if you look close here, the spinach is mixed with other, like this weed that doesn't belong there. Like this is not edible. So you must make sure that when you are collecting, you are not just collecting every piece of weed and whatever else that you're seeing. You need to collect the. And can you see here, it's still in between weeds. So sometimes what I do is just take it out and then rip it from its stem. The reason why you don't need to keep the stem in is because you can see they've cleared the land here. They've plowed already. Yes, yes guys, this thing is tiring. They've plowed already. So I think after Christmas, they're going to plow the rest of the field. So we need to collect as much. Homegirl is tired. As much spinach as possible before they clear it and this is how it looks the moment it starts getting to this size that's what I was sure. to this size then it's it doesn't there's not enough spinach on it look at my shoes it's harvest so oh, it doesn't matter so you need to collect while it's around this time and this is my ballet i've been talking but i've also been collecting guys 
This serves as a sauce, a type of sauce. It's a spinach, but we cook it as a type of sauce and it usually grows this time of the year when it's rainy season. Now this is a lot. We wouldn't finish it all in one go, so we would cook it and dry it. So this one is dried. We would keep it for like during yeah when 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 it's not raining and and meat sort of becomes scarce then we use this that's such a bad explanation but i hope yeah during the hard days we we eat this type of spinach but now when it's raining this is the spinach we eat so Hello, on your tank, Cadifa. Nana Tangue, Tonatana Cadifa. Eh? Tonat Navolifangelo. Eh? Everyone in our house works, yo. Look at the, the little piccadillis that are, that, are apparently, that are apparently going to live. Oh, I can't be back in the bit. Yeah, Nata? Yeah? Yeah, Ningenya Sama. Ningen, thank you, Patelego, you blue way. Yeah? Yeah, hello. But then apparently the well dried out. So I don't know how other people collect their water, especially if they don't have transport. But yeah, that is my family collecting water. Oops, I me. We came by Kapomba and now we don't know how to behave. Anyways, you guys, can you see how many people are in my house? These people are all from my house, and we still left some people at home. It gets so packed during Christmas at my house, and I love it so much. This is the one time I look forward to Christmas time at home. <laughs> supervising the collecting of the firewood <laughs> because my mom said I mustn't do heavy work <laughs> I'm so happy you guys you have no idea that I'm being told not to do heavy work because I'm still sort of recovering 
So I'm just going to be supervising. Oh, I tell you, Guni, Iri Nawa. Okay. I'm a supervisor. I'm a supervisor. I'm a supervisor. Mm, ningenyo anvuka dona. Ningenyo chale. Oka wakolo kafik. I sorry guys. This is, you know, this is like, it's not meat, but we eat it. So it's that time of the year where these things are back. They are not worms either, but we eat them. Hey, it's okay, po. Iku nyo imu ilipen nishama. Imu ilipen. Yo eke oye wachabayo. Ikukelele. <laughs> This is a hoha. This one is the these two their siblings. Yeah, they would do. It's no no congo. I want to tell you my panja chava no congo. No Congo in the house. Okay, so while we're busy collecting firewood, we stumbled upon an Ompeke tree. Ompeke or a Meke tree. So if you've ever seen Ompeke oil, that is the fruit or berry that it comes from, and that's how the tree looks like. So, guys, please excuse my nails. There's no manicure, but it's an edible fruit. This is how it looks like. And if you need to pop it, like that's the seed. You eat that, so inside here there's like a seed, a dry seed. I just ate one, but if you eat it, sorry, if you eat it until like it's fine, fine, then the remaining seed would then be yeah, it's a whole process to make compact oil. But this is how it looks like, this is how the tree looks like, and before they are ripe, they look like this, like this one. Like this, then they turn red when they arrive. So I took these berries, not to go make on big oil, but just as a snack from the tree. And this is how they look like. I got so, 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 so lucky to actually find both of them. So this is the second type. Ow. Ow. Second type of Ombeke tree. And this is how these ones look like. You can see these ones are a bit on the orange side of life. And I don't know. Worms like to feast on these ones for some reason. It's hard to find a nice one, but yeah, this is how it looks like. Let me see if I can pop it. Even the popping is slightly different. You can see it's orange. Mm -mm. So this is the one type of Umbeke tree. And then this is quite a big one. I saw somewhere here. There's another one that my little cousins are now taking from. This is the other different type. And here is the other type. The one I showed you earlier is here. So those are the two types of Mbeke tree that you get for Mbeke oil. We are killing two birds with one stone hunter. Firewood and water. Okay, we just finished. Oku ningo, oku koshom bidi. Now we have to go fundu lo ongal. Tika kwa mukuya fundu kwa. Hi, ibo bi mashwa mbano. Just finished washing the spinach, and now we have to go kufa mongava mukuya fundu kwa. We are going to take the sorghum out of where it was direct translation i don't know the things in english man in my aunt and my mom they are looking at me weird anyways let me show you guys where the ngava is it's and i'll show you guys the process because that is now we must go crush we must go you know remember the other process i showed you okuta it's what we must go do okay so this is the ngava this is on the sorghum that we make 
that we use to make traditional brew. So previously what we do is we store it in here for like a couple of days, like this, about six days. So you wet it, and then you you keep it like this to sort of ferment or make it soft. Yo. And then after those days, it now looks like this. We take it out. You need to sort of keep checking. So when it starts growing like that, like can you see? sort of growing everywhere then you know that it's ready so now we are going to 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 to, uh, to crush to stamp oh, guys i'll show you the process but look how it looks it looks so nice so this is what we are going to make traditional brew one. you guys saw the dust now we we need to do this so that the dust leaves. Else, it, as I mentioned, it won't go through the sieve. Okay, and then I just take it in here. I just put it in here. I just put it in here. I just now we need to go pound i got the word you need to go pound this is uh, our lupale i can tell you guys this No Congo. 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 No Anyways, yeah, this is how we have to soften the mud so that so that we can smoothen the flow and then we start pounding. With like the first layering, you need to smoothen it out like this with your hands. So that there are no bumps and it dries faster. Yo, it's working now for the faint hearted. Okay, so now that we have finished applying the mud, basically smoothening the thing, we need to put, remember the last video I showed you guys when we were pounding, this is what comes out of it. So we need to put this like where we made so that it dries faster so we can start now. But my mom put water in the thing so I have to select like some places. Can you see? Yeah, boys. 
that is the process because if we don't do this it's gonna take forever to dry and we'll never get to finish and nobody's trying to stay pushing it the whole year this is basically what you're avoiding and this thing on cover the, the so gum that we are doing is not like the other one i was pounding the other time this one takes forever because there should be no grain remaining everything should be turned into flour okay so the process of pounding has begun you see now we just put the face the ones that pounded on the floor because the floor is nice and clean this is how it looks like everybody trying to throw them in i'm in belay i'm in patago con galo no you know me move to patago Anyways, so there's a process to this thing. You can't just pound everything at once and it turns into flour. If you do that once, then it won't go through the sieve. Oh my god, she pashke hand. The sieve, I'll show you guys the sieve at some point. But can you see? We we'll put that there and then I'm going to put my last my last one. My last we mm. So this is how it happens. Yeah, and then you basically just pound. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. So the, you need to be delicate. You can't just pound like you are Hulk or something. Because you mustn't you can't crush all the grain at once. As I explained, it won't go. Okay, so because the sorghum is still a bit moist, as you can see like it looks like this we put the yellow flour to sort of dry it up a bit so that one whoever is going to sieve is able to sieve so that we can get the grain out here's the yellow flour i showed you guys already most how hung girl is tired that's why i'm breathing so heavy you can see most i'm pounding here yeah so that's the process my mom is now going to start sieving and then the rest of us will continue um pounding, pounding until all the grain is finish all this green that you see will turn into flour today miracles here by my house so i'm taking off the last one and my mom is going to start saving now you would see the separation oh, guys i'm tired you know the work in the north is is like exercise it's even better than the gym okay. So this is the separation process. This grain here, we need to put it and pound it again. And that's the flour that we're going to use to blow. And she puts it in that bucket. Then she has to receive again using the traditional plate. 
yeah this process is quite long like this grain we have as i mentioned already guys the reason why i keep report, repeating the process is because it's such a tedious and long process but the brew that comes from this is yeah stuff of of of, of the rich yeah very good stuff you guys the one thing i'm really really proud about my parents and our upbringing is that we have no gender roles in our house as you can see that's one of my boy cousins cousin or nephew cousin as you can see that's one of my boy cousins pounding there is no gender roles sometimes even i used to go head goats but now obviously these pikininis that you see around here are the ones that are heading but i'm really 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 proud of that uh, upbringing second round of pounding has begun and you need to put a bit of this so that, so that it doesn't turn the flower doesn't turn white the flower needs to remain yellowish or reddish need mm -hmm. so you must put this need lego no just a little bit a little bit goes a long way you guys know the way can you see my face i'm Tired. Finally finished on the rock. Finally finished pounding the the Japanese gum. So gum. <laughs> People are so tired. Now we it it finally dried and we are going to brew now. That's my sister. So gum drying it and we move it our dry. So gum flour is lunch is ready. We are eating so porridge and fresh spinach. The ones that you guys saw us collecting in the in the morning. We're going to eat now. Okay, so the lunch basically we are having porridge. Um you take your part of the porridge and you take some of the spinach. We are not supposed to take so much spinach. But usually at night, if I eat with my small cousins, I can even take more spinach than this. <laughs> but <laughs> this is lunch. You know, just eat. Now, if you're going to eat, you're going to go blind. I'm going to go to Tati. 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 I'm going to go to So, guys, me, I'm tired. Can you see all that grain basically turned into this flour? This is how the sorghum flour that's dry that we used to make traditional brew. I don't think it's beer, but yeah, the one that we used to brew with, this is how it looks like. Now we just finished, we're setting up the fire. We're going to basically brew it in this pot. So it's a, it's a long process. We're going to brew it in this pot. It's a tedious process, guys. I'm so tired, but yeah, I'll we'll show you when I'm brewing. Lina, Lina, why not? Okay, so I've started the process. Firstly, I need to get the water into the pot. This cup is taking forever, so my cousin and I. Okay, so this is the flour. You basically just put it in here. You don't wait for it to boil or whatever. As soon as you put it in, you just put it in. And 
and then we use this this we get from palm trees or look is what we call it in our language and then you just stay now this is the process you think the pounding was a long process eh? this is where the process starts the staring it's like we are staring like it's a contest or something basically mm. you must make sure that when you stay it doesn't form knots like little donuts or something so you must stay as quick as possible just stay and then you guys know there's no measuring <laughs> like this i don't have a measuring oh you guys are cooking know what i'm trying to do but like i can just see with my eyes like when you stay you can see with your eyes your grandmothers and mothers sort of teach you how to grow so you just know when to look to see whether it's enough like now i can see i actually need to add a little bit more flour because natalia can get profit up from the one we left oh but that's a good one marco yeah and then you just add in why don't you know I got me no good dead out. Yeah, then you just stay some more. Sure. Now I need to add the bit of firewood on that side. Close. My sister has been supervising the whole day, so it's time for her to do work. So she's digging one of, for one of those where the sieve is going to be put. Oh, point that I have to take my sugar to the next thing. I long ago have to take a long time. Mhm. Yes. So now cooked. I'm busy putting it into the sieve. Yes, please correct me if anyone knows what omako is in english and with time it's going to yeah the grain and the flour is going to remain in here and the brew is going to go into there and then we'll store it in like a clay pot overnight um is it fermenting yeah and then tomorrow it will be ready for consumption so this is really this is like a delicacy stuff it's stuff of the kings we don't do it every day or every other week like we usually do this brewing only during celebrations tomorrow is christmas and we'd usually drink one of this yeah or if we are maybe celebrating a birthday or during a wedding ceremony or whatever we would kitchen party. Mm. It's a the kitchen party. Yeah. And then my mom in correcting my things. Yeah. So I think for now this is enough. When it comes down a bit, then I'll come back to this pot. So what we do is you can also drink this. It's called Oshukupela. Yeah, you don't have to wait for it for tomorrow. You can drink this today. We would usually give the kids maybe i'll take a sip or two but when i was younger i would usually drink this but not now my mom still likes this it's for home girl and i know wine must i know nice things so we are going to drink this and then we'll come back to this pot so i think this is better than wine guys i'm tired it's been a long day i think i'll just show you the clay pot or i will show you guys tomorrow for now this is basically the traditional traditional beer brewing or traditional brew rather i hope you've learned something ladies that are getting married i hope you guys took the steps but uh i think we are slowly evolving especially as a as, not a clan but as a the shuambo people very few people now actually do this more um homesteads have modernized and hopefully we don't do away with this culture but i know we are slowly transitioning 
into modernizing everything in our house which is actually stressing me out but it's more convenient because things have just become scarce scratch has become scarce wood has just everything has become scarce but yeah this is part of our Oshiwambo culture and I hope you guys enjoy the video uh it's the day after even if i'm wearing the same clothes this is the traditional bow and this is how it looks like okay, okay. oh this is basically how it look it looks like and we drink it in this wooden cups not your modern cups that's how we drink it yeah. so Mm, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go